Hello everyone, what's up? It's Jandidu here, back with another video. We are here on No Man's Land again for day three, and let's just get right into it. Should be pretty simple today. Just finish tilling up the field, and I have to buy it for the day. Next video will hopefully be building the farm, and I'm hoping that it'll all go pretty well. So we just have this little bit here to just finish up. And... Uh, yep, alright. We'll start at the bottom here. Do that. Shouldn't be too difficult now. Make sure there's one more light on there. One, two, three, all right. Well, let's get right into it. Oh, there we go. I was trying to figure out why my uh, gas pedal wasn't pushing down like it should, and I had it pushed up against the wall. So it's a little bit more difficult, or it's a little bit difficult to do it when it's pushed against the Against the wall like that. Doesn't quite work the same. Alright. So I was considering getting a better tractor. Instead of instead of this 8R here, I was looking at a 96 a 9660, I believe it was. I'm not sure that's the exact model, so I'll have to look at it here in a minute. But it was a really nice one, to say the least. And for this video, it should be nice, short, and sweet. And with this one, if you guys enjoy that new intro, I'm going to keep putting that on these newer videos like this. So. Ooh, I might have to go across because going up and down is not working out for me. I only get about 3 mile an hour going up like this. 2, 3 mile an hour, something like that. And it's not quite, it ain't working out good. So yeah, I'll just have to switch every row. Ooh, maybe. If I can even get up here. Not oh, missed a spot there. To go back through and get that. Now I know at the moment here it's just me on this, but in the future here I might get a few buddies on here help me out, just like occasionally, I'm not sure yet. Because some help around the farm here would be pretty nice. Gotta make sure I take it out wide now so I don't flip the plow while it's turning there. So the model I was looking at is actually an 8960, and it's a really nice one. It's a little bit older, like a 90s tractor, but 90s, early 2000s, but it's it's in really good condition. It has about 380 horsepower, I believe, 380 to 400. And this one here has, I think this has 400 horsepower, but it's a lot smaller. So... And with the 8960 there, I can also put triples on it, and I can do a lot more than I can with this. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that one spot up here I missed. That's right. Right there, yep. Oh, there's two spots I missed, I guess. Well, that ain't perfect, but it works.
Well, I'm gonna speed up time here real quick so that we can get into the daylight hours. Oh, forgot to flip the plow. And then if you guys enjoy these types of videos, please consider hitting the like button, it helps me out a lot. So like I was saying with the 8960 there, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this 8R here or if I'm going to trade it in for the 8960 because the 8960 would be a lot better around the farm here. I do a lot heavier work with it. Oh, starting to rain here. I'm telling you, I don't get stuck out here in the field. Because if I do, I'm, I can't do much because all I have is this tractor, the plow, and the four-wheeler right now. So I'm really hoping I don't get stuck out here. Because that would be pretty unfortunate. Well, we didn't get stuck, so we're doing all right. Keep it on this side here. Just about there. All right. Then drop her down, and we should be good. So let's slow down time here a bit, because this is about the time I wanted to get to. Times two speed should be good. Nice and daylight out so I can see what I'm doing here in the field. So if there's any video video ideas that you guys have, just drop them down in the comments and I mean, we can even go back to 19 if you like. If you guys like to, I, I still have the disc and everything. I just re-download it because I mean, I really enjoy doing 19. I still I still have a few buddies that play it. So I mean, we could do some multiplayer on there, stuff like that. We could do like 1970s farm, something like that. I've been wanting to do a 1970s farm on here, but I cannot find any like old tractors like John Deere 4020 and stuff like that. Because the 4020 was personally one of my favorite order, order tractors like that. It had a good amount of horsepower and good stats and everything on it. So I'm just about done here. Mm, no, nope, didn't get out wide enough. go sweet there we go well, I'll say we got about four rows left here just because this um, plow that I have here isn't very wide I say we got pretty quick work of it. I mean, so far I'm loving it. I mean, it's really working out very well for what I what I need here. Oh, 
missed a piece there. Well, it's all right. When I head into town here, I might um, I might just get a like a smaller tractor and a small plow real quick and pick up these little tiny pieces around the farm or around the field here that I missed. Make sure it's looking all nice and everything. Gotta make sure I take the or gotta make sure I take it out wide and don't cut it too sharp in because then I'll jackknife and that would not be good for the tractor or the plow here. It just wouldn't work out very well in the end at all. Alright, drop her down, and there we go. Can I get that corner? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't get in quick enough, but it's alright. Well, about a row or two if I do it right. A little bit sharper. Well, that's one spot picked up there, so straighten out a little bit. We should pick that up. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. All right. Oh, keep that plow on the outside there. Perfect. All right, last pass up here. I might have to back that up and get that there. Because I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to get it how I am right now. Or I could probably just take it back around and get that. And we should be good. There we go, that'll work. Well, you know, while I'm up here, I'm going to get those little spots there. Then I won't have to spend a little more money and lease that and everything. Drop that back down, and there we go. So eventually here, after we get the farm bill and everything, then I'm going to expand out this field a little more. Because this is just like the starting field here because I had to get those trees cleared out of the way and I have that nice open area out there. It's nice and flat and everything to build the farm on. So I'm going to have a nice little log cabin out there. I'm going to have a nice barn out there. Or I might just like start with a small garage and work my way up. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it all plans out. And I might not even be able to build it yet because I don't have... I mean, I only have $31,000 to my name right now. And I still have to buy a planter and a combine. And a, uh, like a gravity wagon or something like that. But I might be able to find some of that stuff like on discount or something like that used. And get a little bit cheaper. So I'm at the shop today looking at the, 80, the 8960. I might look at that. See if I can find a good deal on something like that. Because that would work out pretty well for me. Then eventually I might extend it up that way so that I'm using as much land as I can, extend it out to the sides a little more. Then I can eventually here I can clear out those trees there a little bit on my property and make some money off those, expand it that way, clear the stumps out real good. It's just like the simple stuff like that I had to do. It's not too hard to do, but it's just, you just got to have the time to do it. Alright, picking that up there, sweet. Get this little tiny spot. So I got those there. Is there any more spots up there that I see? It? I don't. But there's one spot down here. Then I can go ahead and take the tractor into town and see what the trade in value is on it. And I'm hoping it all works out well. And, well, yeah, it just works out. There we go. 
So fold this all up and I would just park this. I'll just park it over here by his trees. Ooh, maybe. Alright, perfect. How about that? Alright, go ahead and dis disconnect this here. Now, this 8R served me very well. I've already, I mean, I've only put an hour on it, but for what I've needed, it served me very well. So, let's head to the shop and see what the trading value is on this to see if I can get that 90s or that 8960. So, open up my small map here real quick. Alright. And currently, there's nobody else that lives around here that owns this land. I think it's all just owned by the town. So they marked every they've marked every section of land here about 85 grand. So so that's just how it's working out now. I might just start with like a small tent or something like that. Just start something small, just enough so I have something to sleep in, something like that. Because eventually here I'm going to need a place to live in. So yeah. I thought about getting this little farmland here. So, it's, so I don't have to drive so far. This is field 26. And then it comes with all those trees back in there. So I don't know. We might have to consider that. The only thing is I just got to get the money for it. Then this road here takes me right into town, so it works out pretty well. Well, it'd be nice if this thing went a little bit faster, but I mean, 33 is pretty fast for a tractor like this, and I think that the 8960 only goes 19 mile an hour, but working with tools, it goes a lot quicker. And it goes like 10, 11, where this thing only goes, like uphill, it goes 10 or 11, where this thing uphill, it goes about 5, 3 to 5 mile an hour. So it's going to be a little bit of an advancement. It's gonna be a little bit track, a little bit bigger tractor and everything like that. So I think it might help out the farm a little bit. So I'm about 1.1 hours currently on this tractor. So I'm hoping that the trade-in value is pretty high because I'm thinking that 8960 is, I think it's around 80, 90 thousand. So I'm hoping this works out well. Well. So let's see. I probably should have washed it up a little bit before I got it here, but it still looks in pretty good condition, cleaned up still. I just feel like I don't need some this new to start with here. So pull it in here real quick. There we go. Oh, shut it off. Perfect. So let's see what the trade in value is on this. Alright. Ooh, that was pretty good. So the tractor I'm looking at here, large tractors here. Let's scroll down to it here. So the 8960 is about 80,000 right now. So extra fuel tanks. So. Um, standard silver flap, we'll go with that. Three boy hitch, definitely, I'll need that. Additional front lights, obviously. Green Star 300, standard. I'll just go standard there. Engine setup, 8960. Windows, we don't need 10. So just standard. What version do I want? Aussie, standard, Aussie, US version, alright. Wheel setup. So. I might just go where are they at. It's the thin triples is what I want. 
Uh, there's a lot of wheel options. There. Perfect with the weights in them also. Alright, that works out perfectly. And then that gives me 133,000 that I'm say or that I'm spending. And then I still have I still have 191,000 left. So I'd say that was a good that was a good trading value. And I really like these old extractors like this. They're really nice. So, I mean, everything seems to be working perfectly. So, let's look at planters real quick. Because I'm going to need one of them. Uh, planters, planters, here. That was a really nice deer one right here. But I don't quite have enough money for it. So, I could go for... I should go for the blue drive here, the Kinsey. It's really nice, it's smaller. That's work out perfect. Perfect, just like that. That leaves me 51,000 left. And that might be enough to buy a house and all that good stuff. Gotta go a little more. Perfect. There we go. Then, oh wait, almost forgot seed. Might need that. Um, pallets. Oh wait, no, I'll click the wrong one. Pallets here. I will just get one pallet of seed here. Then, does this have mi uh, I don't think it has fertilizer tank on it. It does not. Well, let's pull over to that and fill this up real quick. Alright, background up. Keep going. Perfect right there. Now that might be enough to fill it all the way up, but we'll see. Hmm. I'm gonna need a few more of them. Here we go. This should completely fill it up, so I'm hoping that works out. There we go. I should just have a little bit left on that last one that I can just throw it on. I might just throw it on the hood of the tractor on the way back to the farm. Yeah, I just got a few bags left on it. So, just grab it here. And then I'll just throw this on the front of the tractor here. Just throw it up there on the hood. Eh, uh, maybe. I'm going to jump up on the tire real quick. Wasn't quite tall enough to reach up here. Alright, and we should be good there. Not sure. Hopefully it stays on there, and let's head back to the farm. It's looking to be good right now, but it's it's pretty bumpy on the way back to the farm. I might set it on the back there. We'll see. If it comes off, I'll set it on the back. Just gotta shift through the gears here. All right, there we go. Twenty mile an hour, so we should get home in no time.
The only thing I'm hoping is that it doesn't just fly off and I run it over or something like that, because that'd be a waste of seed, and I don't want to waste seed. If I turn like this, it like scoots it over a little bit. So here we go. I'm open up my Big Mac real quick. So yeah, we got a ways to go out there. So if I pretty much just like head straight, I see my field there, and we should be good. So I'll just set cruise control there and just sit back for a minute. So while it's sitting in cruise control, it'll take a minute to get there. So let's look here real quick at construction and see. So farmhouses, let's look. So ten thousand for a log cabin, that's that's pretty good actually. I might get a log cabin, yeah. So take off cruise control because I'm driving it now and let's head back up here. Oh, I like that. It actually shows the time inside the tractor here. It's pretty nice. Where'd the field go? Can't see it. Oh, it's behind those trees. Well, I mean, the seeds, the seeds seem to be staying on there pretty well, so that's working out. I like that. Open up the map here real quick. Oh, we still got a little bit of ways to go. Gotta go around that hill there. I have this door open, doesn't it? Oh. At the tree. Well, I'm glad we just hit it with the tires. So. Now this that's really unfortunate still. So I'm gonna just throw the seeds on the back here. And the unfortunate thing is it was right in the blind spot of the tractor and I just couldn't see it there. So grab the seeds here, throw them up there so they're like yeah, just like that. Then I might have to hop them on the on the tire again. Yep. So they just set them on the back there, perfect. And then it's just around this tree line, I believe. Around the tree line and up the hill. And we should be there. Now I really like the sound of this tractor. It sounds a lot better than some of the other tractors in here. Because with this one, it's actually like a good, authentic sound. And I love the sound of a tractor like this. So we're currently on plot 24 and we live, or our farm technically is on plot 15. So it'll take a moment to get there, but we'll be alright once we get there. I'm not sure if next video we'll be planting or um, building the farm. I might do planting and then building the farm all in one video. I'm not sure yet. Oh uh, yeah, there's our farm. Alright. And so, like I was saying, I really like how we have all this flat area out here that we can build on. But all this out here isn't all our land. Our land is up here a little bit. There's like a tree line up here that divides it. I think it's right about that one there. I could be mistaken, it's a little further. Yeah, it's a little bit further than that. That's right about that rock formation over there. Maybe a little behind it, but yeah. It's right about there. 
So we have this land here to build on. I'd say that's plenty of land there to start with. So I'd say that's all right here. We got a new planter, got a new tractor. We got our field finished up. So next video we'll be planting and then building the farm. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.